This is a little Googlatech filters test. Um, this one is the brand new old which I uh, have been given. Uh, this one I bought and that's the one which I had in Honda for the whole trip, not the half of the trip. And this one is the new one, the brand new one which I bought for the Tenere for the Sahara. Now, these filters are supposed to keep dirt inside and separate fuel and the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 150 ml of the water, put it in each and see if something goes through it. So, <clears throat> as expected, in a sense, um, no water coming through these with 150 mils. Not even this one, which is like super beaten up. So let's put it. Let's put the competition a notch up. I'm gonna add another 150 to each. So we will have 300 ml of water in each of them. Okay, so this is interesting. I accidentally put the water on the outside of the filter. And now immediately it starts seeping through the water. Like immediately. So I don't know if as long as you keep the water inside, is it okay? And then you have to dry it or if this is actually now seeping through all the time. I don't know. Okay, three hours later, uh, I have the old one. There's a drop over there, you can see that. So that's actually leaking from here and it's leaking from the bottom over there. Now there's only two places this one year old filter beaten up is leaking. Everything else is okay. Now this one is the new one and there is nothing in there. There's no, not a drop, nothing leaking, not even a sweat. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to leave um, the new one overnight. I mean the old one that's pointless because we know that it's leaking at the moment. But uh, I'm really curious if the new one is not going to leak anything in 24 hours. Um, there's 300 milliliters water in it. Um, if that survives the test, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, 12 hours later, the results. The new one doesn't leak at all. I poured out um, 282 milliliters. I think I put 300 in. Um, so something is probably in the filter as well. Something is evaporation. Um, not sure about that, but on the outside, it didn't leak at all. The old one, uh, the old filter that leaked and uh, it leaked uh, one hole on this side and one hole at the bottom. Um, considering that is after about a year of use, pretty good. Um, also, this one is a little bit different from this one. This one has a nylon bag around it to prevent it to, um, from rubbing from the, from the tank. Now, I have this troublemaker as a brand new uh, remote, like portable filter, they call it. And I think yesterday it leaked. Um, I dried it and I tried again. It seems not leaking now, so I'm not really sure what was going on. I'm going to put more water in it um, and leave it um, a few hours to see. But so far, I'm pretty happy. I mean, like this, I think is going to work pretty well. And also another thing is, which is quite good um, about this one comparing to that one is the size. And the size has to do with how quickly you can fuel up. Um, so that's another thing. This was really, really painful to fuel up um, on Honda. So I'm hoping that this is going to be much faster to fuel up. But that's it. Good luck, take. I think passed, to be honest. Okay, final update. This one, two years old, never used. It does leak uh, from a different places. So um, it's not for the tank. It's for, um, I don't know, it's 
cold portable one, but this one does leak on me. So yeah, 